We will now begin UAA, UAE Star Speeches Part 1 now. Welcome everyone to our UAE Star Speeches Part 1 where we are showcasing 20 hand-picked top startups from the UAE. As you can see, the pavilion here is truly remarkable and we hope that we, are, we will enjoy getting to know these innovative companies. This Part 1 session, you can meet eight startups first. The first startup is Remar IoT, a pioneering company specializing in developing innovative IoT development boards and solutions. Please welcome Remar IoT. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. My name is Khalid Al-Awadi, and I am the founder of uh, Ramal IoT. So Ramal IoT is a tech startup committed to advancing the technological landscape uh, of the UAE by nurturing a culture of innovation and learning. Uh, we have a team of three people. That's me in the middle. And then we have Aliya al mhaisni and Muhammad Al-Awadi. So our vision is we want to revolutionize the landscape of IoT in the UAE. And our mission is to empower the leaders in the UAE across different sectors to utilize uh, IoT in their own solutions. Now, development boards, I will not bore you, but they're used for different purposes. So they can be used to, for research, for education, to develop commercial products. So we have our own unique development boards. We have Nabth, we have Atlas, and we have Shabaka. Now, they all are different, uh, meaning Atlas is very basic. It's a very simple board. Uh, that's uh, one dirham of our currency for reference. It's, it's small, so just to give you a, a reference. Then we have Atlas, which is wide like a map. We have multiple components on it. We have accelerometer, we have lights, we have buttons, uh, SD cards, so people could use this for many different applications. And then we have Shabaka. Shabaka translates to web. So the focus of this board is connectivity, the internet. It has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, also RGB LEDs, and uh, all that cool stuff. Now, they're used in a variety of purposes, from research, again, to education, to developing commercial products. What do we do exactly at Ramal IoT? At Ramal IoT, we start with a block diagram, a high-level explanation of exactly what the system is. Then we choose the components, and we start the electrical schematic. We actually design this. Once that is done, we do the routing and layout, which is the final step before actually creating the hardware. And then we assemble it. So from the left to the right, this was initially started, and you know, I used to do it uh, back home in my bedroom, one by one. Now, alhamdulillah, we scaled up, and we can do multiple thousands and, and more. But initially, this is the process. Uh, our board started, you know, version one, version two, version three. You learn from your mistakes. They have been used in artworks. They have been used in space missions. They have been used for education. And a startup that used our board came to our workshop, uh, learned how to use our hardware, and then won first place and another competition. So that was very nice to see our hardware being used uh, in different startups. That's our end goal. Now, we sold, alhamdulillah, 110 boards so far. And uh, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's very cool to see that. Uh, we have two pillars in Ramal. We have first, uh, we focus on education. We teach people how to design and develop and write code. The other pillar of Ramal is we focus on industry uh, applications, meaning we have clients that reach out to us and tell us we want a solution to do this, this, this. We design custom hardware for them. So we had our workshop at the University of Sharjah in the UAE. Alhamdulillah, we had over 100 signups, but we could only take 15 people, so that was our first workshop. And now we are in talks with Emirates Global Aluminum, uh, which is a huge company, that they want us to create uh, solutions for them in, the, uh, in their factories. So that was very cool to, to, do, uh, to work with them. We've been in different areas. We had internships. Uh, we, uh, we, invited, we were at different events. And we really want to grow the manufacturing industry in the UAE. Korea does amazing things. You guys, mashallah, you're, you're way too advanced. And we wish to learn uh, and do more. Uh, so that's the, the point of Ramal IoT. We're supported by Shara, which is an entity in the UAE that supports startups. And this is my contact information if you're interested. And uh, yeah, the desert is vast, and so is the potential with Ramal IoT. Uh, thank you all very much, and I think I'm open now to questions.
Thank you for the presentation. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. I will toast the mic. If there's any questions, let's move on to the next company. Thank you so much. Thank you all very much. Our next startup is Redefining Digital Learning and Training Experiences, AR Engineering. Let me introduce AR Engineering. Uh, testing? Hi. So, uh, my name is Azan. I'm from AR Engineering. It's a startup based out of Sharjah, the research and technology park from the United Arab Emirates. So, a bit about, of the, co a bit about the company. Um, we do simulations, uh, we do training solutions, we work across 12 different industries. So as uh, per my work with the company, I'm the defense lead. I deal with a lot of uh, military companies. I deal with a lot of governments as they need training solutions as well. So um, the problem we're trying to solve is very simple. Um, whenever you're learning theory, it often comes with massive books. Nobody wants to read thousands of pages, especially if you're in a lecture and you're receiving training. Things get boring very, very quickly. So the solutions we provide make learning far more interactive and it also helps with retention, so remembering the information. So usually if you're an engineer and you're working with hardware or equipment, a lot of the companies we deal with do radars, they work with aircraft, um, armored vehicles, stuff like that. We also do commercial stuff, so we're talking trains, power generators. This is what a manual or a schematic looks like for an engineer when they're trying to remember which part they're gonna take apart on the engine. So some of the work we've done is for airlines. So we've done a lot of work commercially. So that's one of the uh, projects we did for, with Boeing, which is the CFM 56 engine. Um, and we did this for Emirates, actually, the airline, so they could train their engineers and their pilots and their ground crew on how to take apart the engine. So you've got an augmented reality solution, which is like an app on a tablet. If anyone wants to see the application, I've got a demo. Um, and yeah, you've got all of the parts of the engine, and we modeled the engine from scratch. So we took apart an engine, um, we looked at uh, all the different components and how they interact with each other. You've got all the information on screen. And instead of going to a lecture and sitting there for four hours, you can just boot up the app and learn about the engine that way. It helps you remember. Another job we did, and this is more towards aerospace and defense, is uh, Thales. So Thales is a large French contractor. They do a lot of defense work. Um, they do radar, so if anyone is flying to Dubai, if you land, there's a radio tower. This is the radar we've done work for. Um, so that's a demo um, that was done at uh, Abu Dhabi. So yeah, you've got Microsoft HoloLens, and you kind of interact with the radar and take it apart and all that kind of stuff. So we modeled the entire radar from scratch. Another job we did is in uh, petroleum, so we work with Sabic and they process a lot of petroleum-based products in Saudi. And so this is some of the work we did for their like, pipeline engineers. And again, when they're discussing the design of a pipeline and they want to go over details in like, a meeting or train people, they can just boot up the model of the pipeline that they're going to discuss and have like, a collaborative discussion on whatever the problem is or the challenge they're trying to address. So this is what we did in petroleum. And uh, yeah, what we do is basically digital twinning. We take a physical product and make a digital copy of it, and now you don't have to go to an aircraft hangar or a garage to be able to you know, interact with a piece of hardware. So um, the engine that we did usually takes uh, most companies, um, conventionally it takes them about 14 days, uh, sorry, uh, two months. It takes us 14 days with the in-house software we've developed from scratch. So we use in-house tools to develop these uh, simulations, uh, these, uh, simulators and apps, um, and the 3D tools we have were also developed in-house from scratch. And yeah, you have uh, freedom of choice. Um, we have on-site apps, so it's on your tablet. If it's a private, you know, if it's a private app, you don't want to be sharing it. You can just have it loaded on your device. We have it on the public cloud, so our apps run on browsers. So you can have really, really complicated models running on your phone. And I can demo that and provide links for anyone who wants to try it out. And you can have it on a private cloud. So if you have a network in a company and you want to roll out the app to people, you can do it that way. And yeah, what are the key benefits? Again, knowledge retention. You remember the information better. It reduces the training time you have. You can re uh, recall the information more accurately. And it reduces your training costs because people are spending less time in the classroom. And uh, yeah, the market size is quite massive for VR, AR, and mixed reality. So we're dealing with quite a large market. 
And yeah, here are some of our clients and partners. So we've worked with Boeing, we've worked at Tawazin, which is the military contracts agency in the UAE. We've worked with Talis, Emirates, the Saudi National Guard, specifically their medical corps, Sabic, PwC, which is a big consulting company, and many more. And uh, yeah, in 2023, we became venture-backed. Uh, that's actually where I met the guys uh, who I later joined at the company, it was the International Defense Expo. We became backed by Tawazin and Boeing, and that was our first step into defense and where I joined the startup. And that's the team. So we've got Akram, the founder, Yasser, the co-founder, Zain, Ahmed, and Mohammed. They're all engineers, most of them aerospace engineers, so we have quite you know, uh, a, a, a skill set when it comes to aerospace and defense. And I bring in my military background for the defense side of our projects. And yeah, if anyone would like to get in touch with our CEO, that's the contract contact details. If you'd like to speak to me, please come and visit the UAE Pavilion. And uh, yeah, if you guys are in Dubai next week, I'm at the Dubai Air Show. We've got a major announcement in military contracting. I'd love to see you guys in Dubai. We have a lot to offer. So see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Is there any questions for the... Oh, yeah. Air engineering, please. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, if you're interested, please connect with them. And our and our next startup is a SAS solution. Uh, a SAS solution is SAS solution powered by AI in transforming paper to smart receipt and promoting digital transformation. Please welcome a SAL solution. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. My name is Reem, and I founded ESAL Solutions. And we are here to digitalize, track, and grow your business. We help businesses, we help retailers, government to utilize transactional data derived from digital receipts and help them make data driven decisions, reduce their carbon footprint, and also provide enhanced customer experiences. When it, comes to, uh, digit, when it comes to paper receipts, every day around thousands and millions of papers are being printed. So how big is your impact? We have done a, a feasible study and you can, you, can, you can see in the screen an average number of transactions of 100 receipts is equivalent to 91 kilograms of CO2 and 21 kilograms of also waste. And that's also uh, nevertheless 9,100 plastic bags. So you can see the impact when it comes to paper receipts and invoicing and the importance of digitalizing and finding a feasible solution. Introducing ESAL. ESAL is a software as a service solution that helps retailers with digitalizing, understanding their customer and enhancing their data analysis when it comes to customer behavior. Since inception, we have deployed in 70 plus POS systems, support with various entities. Recently, we signed a couple of MOUs with different free zones and we have validated over thousands of transactions with digitalization. So what do we offer? Connecting, analyzing with your customers. We help you identify your customers. We have an easy plugin solution that does not require you to change your existing POS system where you can access real-time data, improve your sales insight, and also improve your operation efficiency. Another feature that is our customer's favorite, which is the personalization and the customization of receipts, it's not another uh, 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 printed receipt. It's a very dynamic digital receipts. We're taking it from a simple digital notion to a smart notion where you can fully interact with it. You can put warranty reminders. You can put your social media and also promotions and many other uh, options. Insights for portal is something also that we are growing and enhancing. We're also in negotiation with various banks with their MCC code. We build you a dynamic audience builder. Think of receipts as another marketing canvas that you can utilize and also interact with various customer trends with our uh, ESAL portal. Our transactional data allows you to maximize your customer outreach through in, uh, data enrichment and we utilize it per category. So we have categorized data, subcategories, date and time, brand, logo and various other interesting uh, features. Based on our customer validation, so you can see the staggering data over here. 94% of customers prefer digital receipts, and the number one issue appears to be concerned about their environmental impact. Because customers nowadays, they don't want another product. They want something that aligns with their ideology and values. And this is where ESAL comes. 
At ESOL, we're not just another digital tool. We are an integral part of your business enhancement. I'll be around here to connect and answer any of your questions. Thank you for listening. Thank you. You can pass to the next speaker. Uh, if, is there any questions for the, the company? If there's any questions, please, please feel free to check their company if you're interested. And now we are heading to the next startup company. The next startup company is Diagno Middle East FG LLC that expressed diag diagnostics for hormonal health and fertility, empowering women to be in control of their own health. Please welcome Maria Sol from Diagno Middle East FG LLC. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I'm Marina, the founder of Diagneo. Um, we're a company that redefines the diagnostics for women's hormonal health and fertility, empowering them to be in control of their health, all from the comfort of their own homes. Basically, every year, um, 30 million women worldwide struggle to get pregnant. And from official healthcare perspective, infertility is not even considered a disease until one or two years of heart-wrenching unsuccessful attempts. So this journey is full of stress, pain, and is extremely expensive. And the only way for women to have access to that early and regular screening would be to live in the lab, which is obviously not practical. So we at Diagno changed that. For me, fighting this problem is a very personal payback story. My mother spent 50 years of her career in a mission to treat women's hormonal and reproductive disorders. So thanks to her research, I had the privilege to be born to this world as one of the first IVF babies in my home country 40 years ago. So I always knew I was kind of destined to do what I do, building the businesses at the intersection of healthcare and technology. So I came up with the idea of Diagno at COVID times when those PCR testing techniques were uh, emerged and uh, when the habit of consumers testing themselves at home was formed. So our product stands on three key principles. First of all, we work with the non-invasive saliva-based biomarkers. Second, we develop the algorithms for personalized analytics to drive the insights from that data that we get from the biomarkers. And then number three, we allow doctors and patients themselves, the, the women themselves, to understand what's happening and to make timely decisions, medical in terms of doctors or just lifestyle decisions for women themselves. Our product basically is a patent pending medical device which consists of the reader, the test strips and the mobile application. It works, as I mentioned, with the most user-friendly biomarker using just a drop of saliva. So you can have instant results, but also you can track and monitor the hormonal fluctuations over time. In our app, you can have a chat with our AI bot to learn more about hormonal health and how the hormones affect our life, and also order the test strips or order the telemedicine consultations for your particular needs. Even though we start from fertility, and this is the first indication that we work on, actually our product is tailored to support women through various life stages, be it pregnancy planning, postpartum depression, general hormonal imbalance, or fighting through menopause. The more hormones we add to our hormonal panel, the more indications in overall women health spectrum we cover, giving us truly lifetime engagement. And these indications exactly constitute the global market of women's health, which is huge, 50 billion US dollars globally. And we here have found a sweet spot to start and scale our business, which are the Gulf countries where the infertility rates are one of the highest in the world, where the demand for private uh, solutions is so evident, and where the state also focuses on health innovations. We have been backed by great venture partners, so with, within the last nine months, we have achieved a great progress. Our first product, which is a estrogen-based test uh, for ovulation prediction, has got FDA class one clearance. We have tested it initially on 400 women, and we launched our pre-orders in the UAE and KSA by now. 
We have signed several distribution agreements. We have started the research, the further own research partnership with Mohammed bin Rashid universities, and we gain uh, endorsement with the reputable doctors and clinics like MediClinix and uh, Al Habib Hospital. Our business model is very simple. We sell the device itself direct to consumers, but also to, to the clinics. And we sell the subscriptions through our mobile app application for the test trips and for the additional services. We're actually now at our seed round. We're raising one million uh, US dollars from the local and international investors to achieve two major milestones. The first is reach 800K uh, thousand US dollars in sales in the next 12 months. And we do this by targeting doctors and clinics in the region, and also by executing our content and awareness uh, building strategy. And the second milestone is to launch uh, minimum three new hormones into our panel, uh, which we do, as I said, with the partnership uh, with the Mohammed bin Rashid University. Our team is united based on the same uh, values and aspirations. I bring 15 years of international healthcare experience and a previous exit in the industry. And the team members have specific experience in uh, health companies like Servier, Biogen. Our R&D leader holds a PhD degree from Clermont-Ferrand University in France. And our product-oriented people have um, McKinsey and Amazon experience. Basically, uh, finishing up my presentation, uh, just wanted to mention that our product is launched now. Our app is live. Uh, our path to market is very clear. And we're looking here for like-minded partners who share our mission and our business goals to empower women to take control of their health and to empower them to take care about their family size by themselves. Thank you so much. Thank you for the presentations. Before we move on to the next company, the, uh, our UAE Minister of Economy have just arrived. Uh, so let's pause a little bit our session and have a speech from Abdullah bin Cook al Mary. Thank you. Good afternoon. So happy to be here in South Korea. Thank you for the warm welcome, for the hospitality. I think it's a great time and opportunity to hear about our UAE's company pitching today. I'm keen to see as well the opportunities to sign agreements to open markets. We are looking like likewise mindsets, brains. We have 37 companies in the UAE's delegation today. We have a beautiful pavilion. And I think it's a great opportunity to connect and network and to really focus on establishing opportunities. There's one thing I would just want to leave it with you. I think UAE, and I always mention it, UAE is a scale-up nation, an opportunity to open gateways for other nations to look at the UAE into the Middle East, into Africa, Europe, and other places as well. So thank you so much. A really ple pleasure to be here. and looking forward to give the speech as well for pitchers to really pitch their ideas and their technologies. Thank you. Thank you for the speech of UAE Minister of Economy. And we now move on to the next startup company. Our next startup company is Drive, Drive Woo. It is a company that enables shops to have a drive-through sales channel using technology without any infrastructure changes. Please welcome Drive Woo. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We, Drive Woo is a drive-through technology company. I'll start with a short video just to explain how it works. With Drive your order served to your car. Within a few seconds, we just explained the whole process. Uh, drive through is very uh, popular everywhere. We make that process much faster. So we say drive through is fast, drive through is faster. We enable shops in all sectors, starting from the FMB sector, to have a drive through enabled 
uh, sales channel uh, uh, where customers can order ahead of time, where shops with our technologies, they don't need the typical headsets, the mics, the monitors that you see with the fast food chains. It's all in a tablet and everything is run by software. So this is also a quick video showing what happens from the shop side. They receive the order, a huge order with many details. Ahead of time before the customer arrives, they accept it. The customer gets a notification that the order is accepted. I know how far the customer is and I can prepare his order before he arrives. Group order are easier to serve. I know when the customer is outside and the car plate number. Basically, the payment is online and I can serve, serve more customers rather than accepting any cash transactions. I can do this able, the item that out of stock. If I need any help, I can get support quickly from here. For clarity of the orders, like add-ons, extras, it's very helpful. When customer is happy, they will order more. When customers are happy, they order more. So we handled the whole communication factor from the customer to the shops with every single question that they have in mind to serve them quick and, and, and uh, most convenient. For the shops, it's huge when the operational cost. You don't increase the manpower. You don't add any infrastructure stuff. You get more orders and more payments for that way. Again, the most important part is you don't change anything from the operations or the infrastructure to enable the drive-through. Uh, we have a great facility where customers can reorder and we make sure that the, the uh, most frequent order that most likely he wants to order will appear to them at the right time, depending on the time of day, depending on the location and everything. This is a quick view of how it looks like from the shop view, where they, they know all the details they want with, with many open orders and many on the way. The customers is guided to the location of the shop, even if it doesn't know where the, the shop is, we guide them exactly where to park, where to wait. We have around 1,000 shops all over UAE, all over in, on all cities and towns. Uh, we recently launched the public payment for the parking, where we think it's the fastest and the best and the easiest way to pay for public parkings with a click of a button. It automatically detects your zone and, and you can pay it through Atli. The next step, we are working with car manufacturers companies to enable all these features in the car itself, where once you buy the car, you have that in the dashboard itself, where you can order and pay for parking and everything. It's going to be magical, inshallah. This is a quick video of the parking. It shows how, how, uh, how easy it is to, to park. text the zone, parking zone. We have more than 700 zones in Dubai. Not only it pays, it just reminds you how many minutes uh, is remaining outside the app itself, so you don't forget. Yeah. You can extend to whenever you want. That's Drivu. Thanks for having us. Thank you for the presentation. And if you are interested in the, the company, feel free to exchange the contact with them. And our next company is Farmin, space AI combining satellite imagery and AI to provide critical insights for smart cities. Please welcome Farmin. Good afternoon. So let me actually start by sharing my passion and the reason for such company existence. It is a story of a young boy who loved Star Trek. In Star Trek, in one of the episodes, the Starship Enterprise, which is a large spaceship, encounter a planet. And within minutes of its arrival to this new planet, 
they conclude that this planet is in the pre-industrial, pre-fusion era. But how do they do that? Well, it's all based on carbon emission, energy output, and ground observation. Now, imagine such power in the palm of our hand. Good afternoon, and salam alaikum. My name is Ali Hamadi, CEO and co-founder of Parman. Now, imagine instead the traditional cost, time, and resources needed to monitor cities such as Seoul or Busan. Such things come with enormous tags, and some of them definitely require timely intervention. Some examples, building violation, oil spills, defense anomalies. In Farman, we use frequent high-resolution satellite images along with in-house developed capabilities, remote sensing, spectral signature, AI, and generative AI, as well as super resolution, to provide these analytics, which is way more efficient and with a fraction of the previous cost. Here is an example of the process. The data is obtained, complemented, amplified, and finally processed. And the report is generated based on the case of interest. And here is an example of the product. This is a 50 centimeter imagery of one of the areas, and these are examples of solutions. For visible objects, we can find any particular objects of interest. And we can find exact changes, even if these changes are smaller than the size of a car. If you look at the green, you can see the difference before and after. What traditionally needed months of manual surveillance now can be done in minutes and with a fraction of the previous cost. But we don't stop here. With our data fusion technology, we can go deeper beyond the visible spectrum to find invisible information from multispectral to hyperspectral to radar to thermal imagery and finally to our beloved night imagery. Here are some examples to show what we mean by data fusion. Here, we combine optical, which is multispectral, with radar information to find soil information at 0.5 meter accuracy. And here, we combine hyperspectral with thermal imagery to find the location of gas leaks to 97% accuracy. So if there is a smallest leak, you can immediately detect it through this technology. And finally, to complete the puzzle, we have our state-of-the-art super resolution. If you look at these dots, not really clear what they are, but with the power of super resolution, we can clearly see what they are. And here is another example also to show the difference before and after. Finally, while I showed only some of the cases, the applications are really limitless. The answers to many of the questions we typically seek are hidden behind those pixels. And my mission is to create the power of Star Trek machine. Here are some of the recent news that I would like to share. We have won, make it in the UAE, we have won the COP27 challenge around climate change, which will be presented in COP28. That's all. Join us in enhancing the geospatial intelligence. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. And our, if you have any questions, just let the company know and exchange the contact and feel free to connect with them. And our next company is Soma Mater that provide knowledge and network for meaningful strategic impact. Please welcome Soma Mater, Mater. Thank you very much. You got it the first time, Soma Mater. So thank you everybody uh, for your time. Um, I'm actually not pitching today so much as sharing what we do for the ecosystem in the UAE and the Middle East. So to understand why we exist, Soma Mater was born of understanding the potential that exists in the Middle East from the UAE and outward we believe the region has a lot of untapped potential in terms of industry, technology, and what we can do in inter-regional trade. 
And as such, why we're here today is because we believe companies as well coming from outside of the region have a lot to do in this fast moving sector. How we do what we do is ultimately we provide intelligence to startups, to businesses, as well as to governments on how to operate more effectively in the region. And really what we like to say is we close the critical path to execution. When you're trying to achieve something, especially for new technologies, they're trying to do new things in a new part of the world. There will be challenges in people understanding what you're doing, how to best approach the ecosystem. And there are plenty of stories we have back home where ultimately what you need to do is you need to spend time on the ground and understand what and how everything, uh, how everything works. So ultimately we help clients understand that faster, give them the nuance, the differences. I'm sure if we go from one part of you know, Korea to another, there are a lot of different cultural differences. And so we, we consult our, our clients on that as well. Ultimately, we bridge communication and we help facilitate to certain networks as well. So how do we do that? Ultimately, we help understand all the fast-moving government initiatives across the region. The UAE is always in charge and in the lead, so we're very happy to be here to represent. But we are the bridge to the rest of the Middle East. And ultimately, if you're in the UAE, you're going to get insight into what's happening into our neighbor countries as well. We help deliver that information easily in an understandable way and ultimately make it actionable for our clients. We have two subject matters that we are focused on, but doesn't mean we don't touch other industry. Food systems, as my previous work has been in food and food security, and sustainability, as our partners have all been in the sustainability space as well. The extensive network that we have in the company as well to be able to reach out to is academia as well as specialists from different industries from around the world that can help execute in country and in ground. Um, ultimately, we have clients both in the private sector and public and we help NGOs as well. So I wanted to run through some case studies to help you understand how we do what we do because we're a bit of a new kind of operation in the region. So uh, Dibba Bay Oyster is one of our oldest clients, um, is a oyster farm based on the east coast of the country. It's the first in the region and ultimately has a very unique high premium product that's trying to get out to the rest of the world. Well, that will not work unless we have proper regulation in country on this very specific product. And so what Soma Mater does is we facilitate our team to the Ministry of Climate Change and environment, the regulator at the federal level, as well as the local municipalities, to be able to get all of that regulation to be up to standard for the countries that are importing. And so what we're doing is we're helping not only have the regulation, but communicate with other countries, supporting a government to government engagement on how we can get this product into the market. Another client, BIA Group in Sharjah, a large conglomerate of sustainability-led initiatives and companies. Um, with them, we've done a food security strategy. They came to us directly asking us for work on how they can position the company strategically to be part of food security in the national agenda. And what we helped do was rather than tell them to grow vegetables like every other farm, say, what do you have as a role in the ecosystem? How do you position yourself for that? And how can you execute this confidently and own your corner? We also advise them strategically on what COP is about. And for a lot of clients now at the end of the year, COP28 is a major focus for us to help work with their narratives and where they should be positioning themselves in the region. Another uh, New Zealand Trade and Enterprise is where we have a government relation. The trade office from the other side of the world has asked us and we were helping them across Expo on making cultural bridges and understanding who the right partners would be for their New Zealand companies coming in. Ultimately, that's what we'd love to do for Korean companies. If they're coming in looking for partners, who is the best match or maybe as part of the Korean engagement, we were at the come up um, uh, location in the UAE. I've got some other case studies, but I want to respect the time. And thank you very much for the stage and thank you for being such good hosts.
Thank you so much for your presentation. Last but not least, our next, our last presenter company is leading consumer technology holding group in the MENA region. Please welcome Astra Tech Ltd. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I'm great to be here to present an Astra Tech uh, story to everyone. Um, I'm sorry that our CEO cannot be uh, present here. So uh, what's Ultratech? Uh, Ultratech currently already have 150 million user base in the whole platform. And uh, currently our MAU monthly active user is already reached 25 million user base. So basically it's a company with a large uh, user base through the communication platform together with a FinTech enabler. So uh, uh, in the past three months, we already reached uh, one, uh, sorry, one billion US dollar financial transaction volume. So that's uh, how we are right now. And basically, uh, Ultra Tech start from last year. Uh, we have a vision to uh, integrate all the pro service, especially financial service, through our communication platform. So we start to acquire Rezac, which is an uh, on-demand personal, uh, on personal home service that uh, can connect the user and uh, uh, service provider. Secondly, we acquire Payby, which is one of earliest uh, fintech company who acquire the license from CBUAE, Central Bank UAE. Then next, we acquired Botin, which is the biggest uh, communication platform in UAE, uh, which allow a uh, user to use the video call and uh, video call and the audio call with other countries. Because there's, I think there's a comp competitive uh, advantage from our side right now. So that's how we grow it. We grow from uh, the Botin user base, then gradually into the fintech solutions. And right now, aside from the video call, audio call, people can do the real chat, real time chat remittance, and uh, we issue also prepare card and uh, recharge of wallet. Plus, the bill payment allow the user in UAE to pay a lot of uh, utility service provider, not only locally in UAE but also overseas bill payment. And aside from that, we also built the e-store, which we try to uh, step into the e-commerce space. So a uh, merchant, they can onboard uh, their service, the product, onboarding, that they can uh, have a one-stop shop for the user to access to it. So here, I just want to share a little more about what's the uh, situation in UAE. Because right now, uh, Almost 90% of the residents in UAE, they are from other countries. Most of them are expatriate. And the reason voting can grow so fast because we try to try to connect, not only in a local community, but also connect to other countries, like a lot of population from India, Pakistan, Philippines. Those are also our major customers. So our service uh, is aimed to uh, provide what they need uh, in their daily life. So uh, uh, based on our uh, study, right now, Botin already uh, already uh, top second uh, of the communication application in MENA area. So uh, our biggest competitor is WhatsApp. I think everyone knows that WhatsApp is a, uh, one of the biggest communication application in the world. And we are ahead. We are a little below them, but we are trying to head it up. So right now, uh, we are already uh, in 150 countries available. And uh, if you have any friend working in UAE, I believe they are using both. Teams. And uh, as I mentioned, there are more than 150 countries available. And uh, uh, it's more than 850 major cities are using it. And aside from that, uh, uh, we are not only serving the consumer side. For the merchant side, we provide a one-stop shop for our merchants. So basically, uh, for the, uh, because WhatsApp, uh, they also provide something service for the business, 
But what we do is we, we are like an e-commerce site. Uh, your user can uh, search for the product on Botin store, complete the payment directly in Botin. And we also partner with uh, Ad, Ad, Admax, which, Aramax, which is the biggest logistic uh, company in UAE. So uh, there are some uh, showcase that I want to share with everyone about our botting money. So basically, the remittance help our user to transfer their money to their home country. As I mentioned, most of them are the expatriate from different countries. So the remittance is one of the biggest need from their end. And also, the prepaid card allows some uh, underbanked segment who can uh, get a physical, physical prepaid card if they don't can they, they cannot get a bank card from banks plus the wallet uh, bill payment allow them to pay the bill not only in uae also other countries and the botting store allow them to manage all the transaction they can check the invoice and also the stock management in one stop plus uh, there's something that we want to build in the future to help the medicine industry and the education industry to uh, use our video call. Also, uh, a lot of uh, government service can be done in Botin right now. The last one is about a Botin GPT, which we built uh, not only uh, in English language, but also Arabic language. So help local people to, to do their business well. And uh, one of the showcase we have is we already partner with Etihad Airways. So if you just input the book, booking detail of the flight, then the chip, uh, the chip GPT, uh, both in GPT, basically can reserve the flight based on your need. So eventually, we want to build up a user journey in our platform that uh, everything you did in a day, your daily life, no matter it's about the payment, about the communication, uh, about the, the shopping, can be all in one place. So again, uh, my name is Roger, and uh, I'm the VP for the credit business. And uh, I hope, uh, because we are going to expand our footprint, not only in UAE, but also expand to other countries. So uh, if we have any opp opportunity, hope to talk with you. Thank you. Thank you.